Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop. I know you're wondering what's been going on in here. Well, as of this morning, that bench was clean. <laughs> Look at it already. It's only noon and it's already trashed. I can't believe it. I got all my trash cleaned up, got the shop all cleaned out, and bam, hit it with some clear coat, baby. Fill it in the drying trailer overnight. And I've been working on it this morning. I gotta paint my tail cone, but I can't do that because it was in that tube and I had to glue my rear support or my rear bulkhead in because it wouldn't fit with them carpet tubes and just a long story. But I gotta paint that, not a big deal. Hit it with some silver. Hit it with some black. Tell you what would have looked cool is that uh, uh, flat metal. Oh, that would have looked been awesome, but I don't have enough. I just had a couple scraps of Jim Rice with me. But uh, the tail all came out. You guys can see the weather a little closer. Bam. Gotta make my lens for back here. That won't take me five minutes to make. I'll make you a little video. I got a piece of paper towel stuffed in there so it wouldn't get my light all painted up. Uh, got it all weathered up. Man, I wish I had them decals on, Ollie. Man, this would have been the bomb. I can't believe I, I fudged that all up. But, uh, you know, I've put on millions of decals, folks. I'm talking about I put on a bunch of them and and things with just something else. I, I'd get them loose on the deal. They was real loose on the deal, but as soon as I put it up here, they wouldn't move, man, on that that paint. And uh, I, I, I used uh, the stuff that came with it. You know, you're supposed to put that on. It smelled like vinegar, straight up vinegar. And uh, all the vents turned out nice. All I got them weathered up good. Sheen gum port. I was looking at them, some pictures of these. Them things look like they just beat them out of coffee cans, man. These were some rough dudes on the real ones, but I think they had some kind of titanium or some kind of metal because them phosphorus, you know, tracer bullets. I got some hot, but uh, man, it looks good. Side over here, all my paint and decals turned on awesome. This is painted on people. Look at that, look, see them tiny lines? That's like a hair. <laughs> and they all turned out awesome not one little smudge nothing man all these turned out great these little letters there's the light water from my light and my tail right there. all these everything just turned out even them small areas just turned out awesome 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 you know some paint I wonder if the guy can use paint stencils for all them little letters you know uh, it would be a pain but if a guy sat down and took the time to do it that would look awesome you know but anyway I got all this done and I'm ready to start installing stuff today and I'm gonna get that paint. I gotta go get some lacquer thinner I used up all my lacquer thinner I'm gonna get some lacquer thinner and get this painted today and uh, start installing stuff there's my bucket of parts I've been collecting parts for this for a long time people <laughs> got me some high flow BVM valves got three of them one for each main gear and check it out I'm gonna put them right here for the mains and uh, that's a servo deal I mean for the gear doors so they'll be separate, separated from the from the um, yeah. All right, I'm gonna make silver. Clean it on a nice clean bench. Thing was clean this morning. It all looked like this. Already, it's trash. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make me a little shelf. All right. I'm gonna take two of these valves. Put 
chimney. Man, that was a screw on these too. Make sure I got another one. There it is right there. There it is right there. I don't know what's that. Okay, anyway. Back to what I was doing. Yeah, see these holes? They're they're big. A lot of them retract. It's got tiny little nipples in them, man. Man, it's kind of hard to work. Just, uh, I'll do the duck real good. We'll put that one there. Got me a... You know, I don't really like the metal ball links, the Chinese ones. Them things got a lot of slop in them. And I have seen them uh, waller out uh, and to where they actually had to be replaced, you know. So I got, I'm going to use these heavy duty ball links right there. I like these electric brake valves the best. I hope you like them, Ollie. I love these electric brake valves. Simple and easy. I got the whole box of goodies here, man. Gear door sequencers. I got three of these. One for the canopy, one for the mains, and one for the nose. So I just hook them all up separate. And keep the. It, it's really going to keep the airlines down. They won't be scattered all over the air, going through the airplane, you know. And that's it'd be a lot if you got to get a leak be a lot easier to trace down a leak and uh, all the uh, airlines going to the gear is going to be super short and uh, won't take a lot of air to cycle the system because if you got real long airlines every time you cycle the gear you're using the gear the line the air in the gear line you're using <laughs> the air in them airlines too every time you cycle a gear plus what's in the cylinder. Anyway, I'm gonna put them two right there. Oh, wrong box. Then I'm gonna take, these are just uh, standard digital servos. 